Know your roots and Kawabanga, dude. This week we're going to the beach to catch a wave. Unfortunately here in New Zealand, some beaches are brown, so I'll bring the blue waters to you. All the way from Hawaii. Mahalo, kool -Aid. Besides who has the biggest bombs, one of the biggest sports on the waves is of course, surfing. Heaps and heaps of Palangi dudes, mans, are pros, but they had to be taught it. The natural fanatics born with the skill were of course the Polynesians. According to historical facts found in the back of the library, surfing was created in Hawaii by the Poly people. Hawaiians, Osh, go team Poly. Surfing was a part of an ancient Polynesian culture and was happening way before the Europeans came into the picture. This picture? Yes, this picture. It was actually an art and was only performed by the chief and chiefesses of the land. If a nobody was caught performing the art of surf in the same area as the chiefs and the chiefesses, they would be bang, gone, kaput, far dead. Whitney Houston, I will always love you forever and ever. You're dead. And if you didn't hear me at the beginning of this paragraph, I said art, not sport. Yes, surfing back in the times was not considered an extreme sport or career as seen today on Fresh TV. Rather, the Hawaiian people mixed the surfing into their culture and made surfing more of an art than anything else. Kawabanga, dude. Mahalo. Yeah, mahalo. Mahalo to you too. Mahalo to me. Hey, yo, Blues Clues. It was also recorded that Samoans were surfing on planks and single pole canoes back in the days. Oral tradition confirms that surfing was also practiced in Tahonga. That's right, where the late King Tofahau Tupou, the VI, was the foremost Tongan surfer of his time. Malie Tonga. When the missionaries from Scotland and Germany came a little time later, they was cancelled all the surf and no one was allowed to do it anymore. Mm, party poopers. Probably because they wanted to take it back home and make up that they had invented it themselves. What a liar! Kawapanga! Kawapanga! <clears throat> but thanks to me and my brain cell, that's singular, not parole, you know the truth and that's right, you know the truth, Gambo. Know your roots and Kawapanga, dude. Man, dude, man, where's my car like, man? Hey, dude! Yo, you dude. Dude! 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 Fresh! Alright, stick around because coming up after the break we have some more Ain't. One of my personal favorites, Punny and Punny. I love those girls. And um, some creative natives. I'm gonna check out FDK and S and all that. But yo, just to let you know your boy Scrub still got it. Check out my groupies in the back. Oh, they're waiting for me, I gotta go. Ladies! How are you? I'm very well. You having a good day? Yes, we Fantastic. Are. The first tattoo that I ever got when I was 18 years old it was uh, my Goldie Mark. I loved Samoan art and Nguyen art. Not very many people know what nationality I am. My dad is Cook Island and my mum's Safakasi, she's Samoan Nguyen. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a mix. Ka Ode Code! <laughs> <coughs> hey, what's wrong? Oh, the doctor said I've got the code. You got the code? Oh my yes. code, you got the code, you better code home. Oh, code, look after my friend, code. Please code. Please code. Code home, code, code, code now. Yes. Before you get code. Here's a dollar code coin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome back to Fresh. Get up, wake up. Every time I come to Auckland, I make sure to check out my crew FDK and this and what fresh pieces they throwing up. Yo, that's looking dope. What's up? My man Ranjar King. What up, Fresh? These are some of the most creative natives I know. Check out this one. For me, the best part of doing what I do is getting to meet new people. I'm a visual artist. I work in the practice of moving image and photography. So I work mostly as a creative director. And in this instance, I put together a commercial photographer and a stylist, all from my local community. So my current exhibition is titled Avanoa Otama. It looks at Pacific masculine identity. It's a photographic series that places young Pacific males into spaces in the community, Pacific Island spaces, and looks at their relationship with that space. This is uh, my sister's garage. I kind of art directed it based on my memory of spaces that I grew up in as a teenager and as a young male. This is uh, my friend's house. It's her family home. What I loved the first time I entered the space was that it reminded me of Samoa and how they decorate the fales. Some of the themes are quite challenging for some members of our Pacific community. It's important for me to make sure that I represent these people correctly and in a manner that they agree with. I get inspired by a lot of 
Western popular culture. What I want to do is ultimately contribute to New Zealand's popular culture with a Pacific identity and a Pacific presence. My name is Tony Ngango, I'm a visual artist. I work in the practice of moving image and photography. You know, because I don't understand why they either get it done needle, mine's all tap tap, you know. And I think it's FDK and S or something. Now we're gonna yes. Who's that? Ebony Society. Black. Never heard of them. Too much red and black. While we make up our mind, check out someone who already has. Leon. Inked. Inked. Boom. My name's Leon Henry. Leon Pavihi Henry. I play for the New Zealand Breakers. Not very many people know what nationality I am. My dad is Kukana and my mum is Afakasi, she's Samoan Yuan. So uh, yeah, a bit of a mix. The first tattoo that I ever got when I was 18 years old was uh, my Gaurima. I love Samoan art and Yuan art. I've got these praying hands, the sun rays and clouds. I got this done in Romania. I uh, played basketball over there for a year and uh, the quote is just uh, Tua Malolo, Ka Maui Tangalo, representing the Nguyen warrior. I've also got two islands here, Samoa and Niue, on different sides. Got my village in Niue, Tamaka Tonga, that's uh, where my grandma comes from. Above it, where my neck is, it's Nufuali'i, where my grandfather comes from. And then I have a quote in between, it's kind of hard to read. My life is based upon family. Love, loyalty, and respect. Missing your family at times, that always, you always look at it and just remember, you know, where you come from. I've also got a Samoan sleeve here. Got uh, some on my hands. People were kind of like, why are you getting tattoos on your hands for? You know, it's a bad image. Um, I just felt like I wanted something different. So the back, it's freshly done. This is two days ago. Pavihi across my back. The pinnacle for me is the better, and um, a few of my uncles have it, so I always, I've always, i always looked up to them, and um, they've been an influence on the tattoo. so that's pretty much the space that's left, and I've been trying to design all the tattoos I have now around it, so I still have enough space for the, the better, and um, hopefully one day I can get there. Yo, it's looking good, fine, just like a tootie, dog. Yo, man, you look a bit sloppy in your old age, man. <laughs> Yo, put the jug on, but stick around, because after the break, we have one of my <laughs> We have one of my favorite segments. Punny and Punny with the best accent, best accents in the world. And of course, MC Scroy will be joining us. Um, that's me, Dilly Deep Potatoes, it's fresh. Yo, what are you trying to do there in front of everyone? <laughs> When I'm with you, I feel I could do anything. I could just spread my wings. I don't I know where that came from, too, but I also think it's amazing. I think you're amazing. I like your eyeshadow. That's amazing. What you like is mean you against the world. Grass. Grass. Amazing grass. No. Grass. Amazing. Uh, wow. You're amazing. No, you're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait, bro. I can't wait. What for? This movie. What are we saying now? She only's winning two, I told you. Again? Bro, but this is Greenland Park. This is where they shot the whole thing. Who you know that? For real? Anyway, welcome back, Fresh. Just me and my man, Rand. So fresh. Yeah, we're here at the Open Air Cinema at Greenland Park. Check out Punny and Punny, you know, your aunties with advice for your life. You need some advice for your life, like where you wore that hoodie. I told you not to do that. This guy. Dear Funny Gekke and Bunny Popo. Wow, they've yeah. gone out there and used our full names. That's amazing, thanks. Thanks for that. I am so sick of my neighbor's nosy grandmother who always likes to tell me how to raise my children. Who is she? I know it's against the law to beat up old people, but I, how do I tell her to mind her own business? That's from Alofa Anger, Neighbours at War. Is that her name, Alofa Anger? I think it's Love Neighbours at War. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, just move house. Oh my gosh, that was so simple. Just ask housing to move you to another house. It'll take you 25 years, but I suggest you do that. And if you can't, I suggest you do something about Pinocchio's nosy nose. You know, Maguak Gippy. Oh God, I hate nosy neighbors, huh? Mm. I just don't understand it. Why do you know why there are so many neighbors at war? In saying that, we've been in that situation before, haven't we, sis? Over our beauty. Exactly. And what we used to do was invite them over. Invite them over for a cuppa. 
you know, a cuppa cuppa. Invite them over that cuppa. And just, you know, while they sit down, while you've got the, you know, the kettle boiling, close all the curtains, close all the windows. Who needs oxygen? The neighbor won't, especially after you're through with them. And then when you make them that cup of tea, you know, what's that thing that we added into that cup of tea? You know, just so that they're sleeping pills. You know, I don't know where that came from too, but I also think it's amazing. <laughs> I think you're amazing. I like your eyeshadow. That's amazing. I'd like to welcome you to the red zone right now. Hence the attire. Unless you thought I was auditioning for the village people. Anyway, this song right here is dedicated to my first love, my city, Christchurch City, baby. Y'all ready, Jojo? Let's go. Uh, when I'm with you, I feel I could do anything. I could just spread my wings. I could just say some things. Cause I feel comfortable when I'm around you, girl. We can do what you like, it's me and you against the world. Ever since the day you came, I haven't felt no pain. I'll never be the same. Now I know I love you more than all my kicks, more than all my clothes, more than all my friends, more than all my flows, more than everything. Cause you were there for me, just like you said you'd be, said you'd be, said you'd be. Through my darkest days, my coldest night, You'd hold me tight, you said I'd be alright I wish I could turn back time to when you were mine You were mine, you were mine Two words, uh, two words, me and you Let's just get away, far away from it all Let's find a better day, everything's alright We talk all night on the phone, let's go Just us, all alone, I know I was unsure before, but now I see I love you more, more than all my kicks, more than all my clothes, more than all my friends, more than all my flows, more than everything, cause you were there for me, there for me, there for me, uh, through my darkest days, through my coldest nights, you'd hold me tight, you said I'd be alright, I wish I could turn back time to when you were mine, you were mine, you were mine. And I love you. My boy Jojo loves you too. That's for real. Thank you very much for joining me. It's your boy. It's your cousin, your brother. MC Scribe Fresh. We out. Peace and love. Right, that's about as much freshness as I can take for one week. You're probably thinking the same thing. But make sure you tune in next week. This is Kristen Hindu from the Word of Warriors. And I'm Kevin Locke. And this is what's coming up. Honey Bill Viliami. <gasps> oh my gosh. Has the sleeve everyone wants. Sorry about that. You didn't break up with me properly. Ah, oh, I you. I remember you. Sorry, Bill Viliami, if you don't want me. You get a life fee. You leave me alone. Good luck with the future, man. Good luck. It's a joke. Don't be jealous. Hating it. Don't put that on there, man. So that's on Fresh next week. So make sure you tune in. But for my cousin Rand and myself, peace and love. We out. Let's get this movie on, don't you? Bro, before that, what a food at? I told you, BYO. I There's got my chickens in there. It's yeah. mine. Solid. Ever made the best set. Back in the game, homie, one more time. Go on for a minute, but I'm back. 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 Go on